Every day, a million new mobile games come to the app stores. And, let's be honest, the most of them are just boring. But don't worry, I've done the hard lifting for you. I searched through the app store and selected the 15 greatest new mobile games released in October 2024. Without further ado, let's dive in the video. Number 15. Lydus is an open-world role-playing and simulation game. The ability to build your own home and customize it to your liking is a nice touch, and the social features encourage interaction with other players. While Lydus may not be the most groundbreaking or innovative mobile game on the market, it's a solid choice for anyone looking for a fun and engaging open-world adventure. If you enjoy games like Power World, you're likely to enjoy Lydus as well. Before we continue, I would like to mention the sponsor of today's video. I've been hooked on RP Grand lately, and it's easy to see why. This open world game is a total game changer. RP Grand offers endless possibilities. Whether you're into exploring, socializing, or building an empire, there's something for everyone. You can join a family, team up with friends, or even become a criminal. The choice is yours. One of the best things about RP Grand is the community. I've met so many amazing people and joined a really fun family. We do everything together, from exploring the world to participating in epic battles. I was so impressed with RP Grand that I contacted the developers and asked for a special promo code for my viewers. They were kind enough to provide a unique code that will give you a free car when you start playing. So, what are you waiting for? Download RP Grand now and use promo code Tekken to get your free car and start your adventure in RP Grand. Number 14. Huh. Haven't thought about these since Sunday school. El Paso Elsewhere takes place in a post-apocalyptic world where the city of El Paso has been transformed into a surreal and dreamlike landscape. As a player, you take on the role of a mysterious wanderer exploring this strange new world. The game's graphics and atmosphere are truly captivating. El Paso Elsewhere offers a mix of exploration, puzzle solving, and storytelling. I found El Paso Elsewhere to be a refreshing and enjoyable mobile game. Number 13. Dragon Prince, Zadia is based on the popular Netflix series of the same name, and it does a good job of capturing the show's atmosphere and characters. The graphics are decent, and the gameplay is fairly enjoyable. However, I've found the game to be quite repetitive. The main gameplay loop involves completing quests, which often boil down to the same thing, defeating waves of enemies. Overall, Dragon Prince, Zadia is a solid game, but it's not perfect. If you're a fan of the show, you might enjoy playing it. Number 12. Age of Empires Mobile has recently been published, but to be honest, it was a huge disappointment for me. It has nothing to do with the Age of Empires games I used to play on the computer as a child. In my perspective, Age of Empires is a simplistic strategy game designed solely to make money, but I truly like the game's graphics and animations. If you enjoy strategy games and don't mind in-game purchases, you should give this game a try. Number 11. Thompson with it. And it's Thompson with the jam. NBA 2K25 promised a simplified, arcade-style basketball experience, perfect for quick pickup and play sessions. The graphics and animations in the arcade edition are decent, but they lack the level of detail and realism found in the full-fledged NBA 2K games. The gameplay is also simplified, with fewer controls and a more forgiving AI. Overall, the NBA 2K25 arcade edition is a fun little time killer, but it's not a must-have for serious basketball fans. White look number 10. I recently spent some time playing the Fall 2 Zombie Survival, and while it offers a decent zombie apocalypse experience, it's far from perfect. The game's graphics are serviceable, but they certainly don't stand out. The environments feel a bit repetitive, and the character models could use some improvement. However, the gameplay itself is quite enjoyable. If you're a fan of the genre and don't mind some technical flaws, it's worth checking out. Number 9.
Sonic Rumble is a classic Sonic-style platformer, but with a twist, it's multiplayer. This means you can race against friends or other players online, making it even more exciting. The gameplay is simple to learn but challenging to master. You control Sonic as he speeds through levels, collecting rings and avoiding obstacles. The online multiplayer is also well implemented, with low latency and a variety of game modes. However, the game can be a bit laggy at times, especially when playing with a lot of people. Number 8 Kick Strike Power Blast is a mobile knockoff of the PC game Anger Foot. In the game, we open doors with a kick and progress through the levels by defeating the enemies we encounter. Gameplay is simple and fun, but the variety of levels and the number of enemies is lacking. If the developers update the game regularly, it has the potential to be a really quality game. Number 7 Drift Tune is a mobile racing game that features a unique art style and gameplay. The game's graphics are cartoonish and colorful, the controls are easy to use, and the game is very responsive. But there are just three maps available, so I hope they add more maps, cars, and game modes to the game. I think Drift Tune is a great mobile racing game that is well worth checking out. Number 6 Armor Attack's core gameplay is solid, with intense robot battles and strategic maneuvering. The ability to customize your robot with various weapons and armor is also a nice touch. However, I found the controls to be a bit clunky and the matchmaking system could be improved. If you're a fan of robot combat games and don't mind dealing with a few technical issues, it might be worth checking out. Number 5 Corex Drift Racing 3 is a solid drifting game that offers a lot of content and replayability. The graphics and physics are impressive. Best thing about this game is the multiplayer mode. You can race against other players from around the world and see who's the best drifter. However, the game can be a bit grindy at times, especially if you want to unlock all the cars and upgrades. If you're a fan of drifting games, I would definitely recommend checking this one out. Number 4 One shot, one kill. Head On is a mobile FPS game with use of a body cam perspective, which gives you a unique view of the action. The gameplay is simple enough. You move around with a joystick and shoot with your finger, but it can be a bit hard at times, and the controls might take some getting used to. The levels aren't too long and there are different enemies and places to fight in. If you're looking for a quick and easy shooter, I definitely recommend trying Head On. Number 3 Rebogo is another open-world game like Powered. The idea of exploring my surroundings and finding hidden Marebo is fun and engaging. The graphics are good and the creatures themselves are unique and interesting. However, I found a few problems. The gameplay gets repetitive and the progression system can be a bit boring. If you're looking for a high-quality mobile game like Powered, give this game a chance. Number 2 I played Grid Legends on my PC and was amazed by the graphics and variety of gameplay options. Now that Grid Legends is coming to mobile, I'm even more excited to play it. It's a well-made racing game with enough to offer. However, the game can be difficult at times, particularly for new players. I'm looking forward to seeing how well the game will adapt to the smaller screen and touch controllers. I hope the developers have optimized the controls for a smooth and intuitive experience. Whether you're a casual or hardcore racing fan, Grid Legends is definitely worth checking out when it arrives on mobile. Number 1 
I've been playing Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm for a while now, and it's definitely one of my favorite mobile games. The graphics are amazing, and the gameplay is smooth and easy to learn. I love the fact that I can play as all my favorite Naruto characters and battle it out in epic fights. However, the game does have a few downsides. One of the biggest issues is that it can be quite grindy. You need to complete a lot of missions and challenges to level up your characters and unlock new content. Overall, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm is a great mobile game that fans of the series will definitely enjoy. Well, that's it for our top 15 best new mobile games of October 2024. I hope you found some new titles to try out. Which game was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, if you want to see more mobile game recommendations, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.